He's a top fighter and I've seen him on the circuit for many years. Um, I believe he won the world back in 2021, am I right saying that? Uh, yeah. yeah, at the slightly lower weight. Yeah, yeah 67, yeah, yeah, but you can tell he's always had that class about him. Yeah, so former world champion, as Lewis says, also an Asian Games gold medalist from 2022 as well. Real class in the blue vest for Seiwon Okazawa up against Yida Willietti of China in the red. And every punch that's thrown and lands from the Japanese boxer will be greeted with a cheer from behind us because the Japanese contingent have congregated to watch their man. A cagey start, first punch lands and it's the lead right from the Southpaw Japanese. He has a good knack of, you know, slowing the pace down and making the opponent fight um, at his pace, which is actually what the Jordanese done in the Olympics uh, very well and negated that and just went full of the whole time, you know, but very hard to do it. He has to be extremely fit. Incredible celebrations from uh, the Jordanians after that victory in the Paris Nord Arena just a few months ago. I remember it well. He really does slow down the pace, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he can push and pull like that with his feet. And also, you know, his, 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 his lateral, his, his body movement as well. He's, he's in and out of range, really hard to hit. Looks hard to hit anyway. Never sparred him or, or boxed him, but yeah, look, looks very tricky. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, trying to force a pace, is, it ends up, you know, working in his favour because he can pick you off better. So it's always find that fine balance between, you know, trying to make him miss and make him pay. Again, yeah. easier said than done, Chris. Well, Yeda Ulietti seems comfortable the man from China at boxing at that pace and Okazawa on the back foot ducking away head movement making himself an elusive target but at the moment there's no punches coming in his direction anyway Chess like. Yeah. For the purest, fascinating to watch still. Good speed there from both. Slows it right down, but has the athleticism to pounce, doesn't he? Certainly does. Just celebrating his wins there is a glancing landing punch from Okazawa. He just flags to the judges. Did you spot that? Did you? And then again, backpedalling away, head movement makes it so difficult to hit. There are many ways to skin a cat in this sport. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I think that's the, the gentlest we've gone to a bell this entire week. Because <laughs> the two of them not punching, nodding, and see you in a minute. <laughs> And all five of the judges going in favour of uh, Seiwon Okazawa of Japan, who certainly set the tone with his defensive work and pouncing into his onslaughts, even if nothing massive of note landed in that bout. He was the one that was controlling the pace. Just doing enough to win the rounds. And again, I mentioned it a few times, but just tournament boxing, you know, get through, get through the early stages and go again. He looks super relaxed in there. Not burning too much energy, not, not doing too much, but doing enough to win the rounds. Nice lead right hand there, coming over the top of the Chinese defence. The minute he got in trouble, just held on, ties opponent up. Ring craft. Second down. <laughs> round two. So round two, Okazawa of Japan in blue. Yeda Ulietti of China in the red. Targeting the body, Okazawa. Drew applause from his fans behind us. Oh, it's better. That's a good shot. Two backhand lefts from Yeru Ulietti of China. Spray flying up off the dreadlocks of Okazawi's head.
Better start to the second round from the Chinese fighter. So this is the penultimate fight of our morning session, live from Sheffield on the World Boxing YouTube channel. Thanks for being with us wherever you are in the world. Men's light middleweight quarterfinals. Still, Okazawa is happy to stay out of range, but then pounce in with a couple of punches. Nice combo. The arena is almost totally silent as everybody is just so engaged in the bout. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not the highest. It's not the highest pace fight, but it's still, still a high quality bout. Chinese is trying to, you know, apply smart pressure, not get caught on the way in. The Japanese is, is trying to catch him as he does come in. It's almost like being in a cinema. Everyone's just totally focused on the action. Yeda Ulietti of China now trying to stalk his man. Urged by the referee, keep your head up. But that's ring smarts. Forcing the referee to break up the contest as the Chinese boxer was getting on top. Still the body language is good from Okazawa. And my view is that Yeru Ulietti, the Chinaman, has had a better second round. Yeah, agreed. Whether that's enough to get a share of the judges, we'll see. But um, yeah, he, he's definitely been able to put that pressure on a little bit better. And we will see in 30 seconds time as Okazawa spins his man away to the canvas. No knockdown. And we box off. Well, the CompuBox landed stats would be pretty low for this contest. They would be, but, but again, it comes down to that 10 must scoring system where you have to have a winner of each round. Exactly right. And as I said already, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And we'll see which way the judges have been skinned. Once again, they like the work of Seiwon Okazawa. Now up by two points on all five of the judges' cards. So Okazawa is just once again just marking when he lands, little little punch to the air to show the judges, yep, I got through there. Did well. Little Crazy. lifting uppercut on the inside is when you've got a style like um the Japanese, you know, it's, it's always important. Uh, when you're fi fighting against a style like that, it's always important to try and touch the body, aim for the nearest possible thing to you because where he's leaning back so much, it's always going to be hard to land those headshots. Whereas if you start on the chest and then come from that, that's what we always get taught, you know, and it's, uh, you, you see big benefits from it. Work the body is the message from Lewis Richardson at ringside. And that doesn't have to be bent arm shots, that can be long, long shots, you know, straight to the chest, but just try and hit something, get some sort of response back. Okazawa in blue representing Japan against uh, Yira Ulietti of China in the red. Needs to do something. I don't know if he would have heard you. Target the body, land on something. And onto the body got through, but it wasn't a solid landing punch. Okazawa targeting the body and getting through with that one. It is supreme defensive work from the man in blue. This looks very comfortable, doesn't he? Fighting against him is like trying to catch water. He's just not there. It just slips through your fingers. But they're the moments. Target the body, hit something. He's got yeah. nowhere to go up against the ropes. Yeah, or just start at the body, you know, start at the body and then come over because you're in a better range then too. 
to land the headshots if they're pulling back. Like there you go, he landed a shot there. He started with a jab to the chest and a backhand over the top. So better from the Chinese fighter in red. But needing what he needed from this final round, he's some way short of that, you have to say, with a minute left Definitely. in the contest. No doubt these guys that like middleweight, they pack the power to end it, secure a referee, stop the contest if needed. But when you've got a boxer so defensively sound, punches landing come at a premium. One or two got through there. They did, they did get through there, Chris, but always sort of, he's always sort of riding the shots, you know, he's never taking it fully clean. Glancing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Into the last 20 seconds. Up into his own blue corner here, Okazawa, but he's locking up his opponent, tying him up, holding his head down. He'll get a word from the referee. And he knows because he's heard the 10 second clap up. He's got the job done. Well, majestic stuff. Different kind of boxing performance from Seiwon Okazawa. Nothing like what we saw from his fellow light middleweight, Odell Kamara, a couple of bouts ago. Those two, if they continue winning all the way through, they would meet in the final. That would be a contrast of styles. See the best of the action. I think that was the Chinese fighter's best round, but he needed to come out and blow him away and he was some way short of blowing him away because he couldn't really get near him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, band number 32 after three rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. We officials at ringside score a unanimous decision victory in favor of your winner, boxing out of the blue corner. It's a warrant to Kazaa of Japan! So, a convincing win. For the man in the centre of your screen, Seiwon Okazawa. Another win for the Japanese team. Six wins, just the one defeat. And even though that final round on all five of the judges' scorecards went against him, he had already got the job done. And so we head towards our final bout of the morning session. Bout 12 of the morning, bout 33 of the week. And it will complete our setup in the light middleweight quarterfinals. Do you miss it, Lewis? Can you sit this close? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> of course. You got your gloves in the bag? Want to get yourself back? Yeah, of course, yeah. You need to be fully prepared at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number three. It's a men's 71 kilo quarterfinal. And introducing your boxers to the ring. Firstly, your red corner 